Prasanjit Bose, let's look at a middle ground. Is there a middle ground or not between these two extreme positions that are being taken? Shehzad Punawala saying, look at the situation, compare it globally as well as compare it uh, uh, to uh, uh, UPA times. And uh, Shama Mohammad who says that this is a revenue-driven sarkar which simply doesn't use those revenues to benefit those who desperately need help at the moment. That, for example, non-subsidized LPGs are part of the problem. Well, I think that both the major party spokespersons have spoken half-truths. Uh, part of what uh, they are saying uh, is certainly true. For instance, there was very high inflation under the UPA, but I think that today this, the Modi government has also entered a phase where the inflation rate is rising. So the possibility of the Modi government facing the same, similar kind of uh, you know, inflationary upsurge in the days to come cannot be ruled out. As far as international oil prices and international LPG prices are concerned, I think that they are also at a very high level uh, right now. The UPA government also faced very high international oil and LPG prices. The difference is that the UPA government tried to uh, provide some cushion in terms of subsidization. What this government has done is that at a time when international oil prices was, were low, for instance a couple of years back during the time of the pandemic, the government not only levied very high taxes on petrol and diesel, but also cut down on fuel subsidies very drastically. Now the what has happened says is that they have, the sorry to interest interest the government says they have used their revenues short. to provide cheap rice, subsidized rice, free food grain to millions of Indians. No, 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 no. That, that is robbing Peter to That's the government that is robbing government. Peter to pay Paul. No, no, that is robbing that is called robbing Peter to pay Paul. The poor people need cheap food, they also need cheap fuel. So you can't have this argument that, you know, I, I, I am cutting, I am increasing fuel prices and using that money to provide cheap food. That is robbing pe Peter to pay Paul. You are supposed to mobilize uh, resources from the rich, from, from the, the, those corporates, from those uh, the groups uh, who have suddenly today become the richest person in, in, in India within a span of few years at a time when majority of the people are facing economic distress. They are the people from whom taxes should be taken, not the poor people by uh, you know, cutting their subsidies and look at the cut. Two years back, the BJP spokesperson should answer. Two years back, fuel subsidy was to the tune of, LPG subsidy was to the tune of 35,000 crore. For the last year, this year also, it's around 6,000 crore. So you are talking about 30,000 crore cut in fuel subsidy, subsidies. By that time, because of your Ujjwala Yojana, you have over 30 crore households in India shifting to this uh, LPG cylinders and now they can't refill because the prices have gone up. Let me come the post-subsidy price under one. the UPA was much lower than what it is today. So you are, you are actually doing a grave injustice to those Let people. You have shown them a dream. You have given crores of people access to LPG, subsidized LPG first, and now, now, now you have withdrawn the subsidy, and they let, have to slide back respond. to using... Let, let Shazad Kudabala respond. Shazad, this, this is the most... This is the most... This is the most familiar yeah. argument being made against right, your right. government, hmm. that far from providing subsidies to those who need it most, what you've done is actually garnered revenue through fuel prices, but not given the kind of subsidies that are needed to those who are hurting the most. How now, do you then call yourself a gariboki sarkar? Uh, Rajdeep, let me inform you that the UPA in 10 years that it was in power spent about 46 lakh crores in social spending and developmental expenditure which includes your food subsidy, your fertilizer subsidy. Today in 8 years we have spent in excess of 98 lakh crore rupees. We have spent in excess of 90 lakh crore rupees. So please have this perspective. That's where you get your 6 crore taps from. That's where you get your 80 crore food grain rations for 2 years from. That's where you get your 11 crore people getting Kisan Samman Nidhi of 1,80,000 crore. They gave us 60,000 crore loan paper. We have given 1,80,000 crore in 8 years. We have given MSP of wheat and rice, just wheat and rice, 8 lakh crores as compared to their 3 lakh crores in 5 year period. We have given uh, 9 crore Ujwala Yojana cylinders. We have given uh, crores of toilets. This has all happened because of this money that we have spent back. We have spent 90 lakh crores. They spent 49 lakh crores. Point number one. 
point number two, the states saying that they have not got their share. The states before GST earned about totally 4.5 lakh crores. Today they've earned 6.4 lakh crores. Despite the fact that a large amount of social welfare schemes are being run by the center, paid for the center, for example, Ayushman Bharat, etc. So the center states actually had more resources to give to the poor. Now let me come to a third point. Madam says that about FPI leaving the country. The more reasonable indicator to see is FDI. And we are seeing highest FDI. Third, fourthly, when she's talking about the rupee falling, today we have heard Mr. Subbarao speak about the rupee falling. The rupee fall, even in the last eight years, if you compare it with the UPA 10-year period, it is much less compared to that period. And even now, that time the war chest of Forex was $250 billion. Today it is almost $600 billion. So why, are this, why is this contest being forget, forgotten? I, and finally, finally, yeah, one last see, point. The IMF no. has come out and said, the IMF has come out and said that the fact that we gave 80 crore people free rations for two years, extended for six months, has prevented people from going into extreme poverty. There are umpteenth number of reports that say that we have done a good job as far as handling poverty is concerned. But my fundamental question is only this, that today, if we are talking about unemployment, or if we are talking about price rise, VAT was not cut by many of the states. Today, a petrol, litre of petrol in Telangana costs 106 rupees. In Uttarakhand, it costs 95, 96 rupees. Why is the difference? Because of VAT. Why haven't they cut the VAT? When, when there is unemployment of 29% in in Rajasthan, what about the unemployment there? What have they done to tackle unemployment in these states? Please, Maharashtra cut tax on imported liquor, but did not cut tax on petrol. You know this, Rajdi. You know this, you are from Maharashtra. So please, they should, they robbed Peter and Paul both. They robbed Peter and Paul both, and today they are unhappy because we are taking from Peter and we are giving to poor Paul.